After we met with an app developer, we spoke with our Judaic Studies teacher, Ms. Shrem. She helped us convert these following two proxies. When you open our app, this is what you'll find. This is a prototype of the two prokim that we translated for our app. This is the icon of our app. So, what do you think about our idea? I think the idea is a really good one. Um, I think it will allow students to be more connected to a text that can seem very ancient, um, and the biblical text can seem a little bit confusing when you're learning um, normal modern Hebrew, um, and that's what they're learning throughout their day, and that's what they're speaking and communicating to each other in. So allowing them to be able to read a text that was written millions and thousands and thousands of years ago um, in current active times using the words that we use today in Israel, and we use today to communicate in Hebrew, um, allows students to um, feel much more connected to the text. It'll help people learn how to speak Hebrew more. It'll translate more, and with that, they'll be able to um, learn how to say more, and not only just in English, in another language. <laughs> לעומת השפה של היום, יש הבדל גדול, ואני מאמינה שהאפליקציה שלכם תעזור לכל התלמידים להבין את זה בצורה פשוטה יותר ומודרנית. Just to like learn Hebrew, and then when you read the Torah, you kind of have to relearn certain parts of it. But if you can just translate the biblical Hebrew into modern Hebrew, it's much better. Think of our app. Like, how do you think if students use the app, how do you think it will influence their learning? I think it will work in two ways. I think kids who already know modern Hebrew, it'll help them to understand the Chumash better, and students who are not fluent in modern Hebrew will be able to take the Chumash and realize that we can understand the language of the Torah in modern Hebrew and that way they can realize that the Torah speaks to them in their modern it Hebrew. It will probably make it less formidable to, uh, uh, to them. It will make it less uh, anxiety provoking because they will um, have to deal with an easier Hebrew that's more um, comprehensible to them. Uh, it will make them less uh, anxiety filled so that they could tackle the text a little bit better. So that's Even though you're not a Hebrew teacher, how do you think our app that benefits students? Well, despite the fact that I don't teach Hebrew, I know as a teacher that any resource I can use to enhance my students' ability to learn is a good one. Therefore, I believe an app, which is very much accessible to today's population of students, uh, would be a resource that a student could use in lieu of speaking with me one-on-one -on -one or speaking with a classmate and really get some guidance, in, especially in areas of, of struggle. So do you think our app has good purposes? Yeah, it does, because sometimes when you read the um, Torah or the Chumash, it's kind of confusing to understand everything. our app will change your perspective of Hebrew? Yeah, I think it will, because um, I'm not that great at Hebrew as it is, and especially not, not when it comes to reading Torah, um, and when I use the app, it will help me to understand what, what, it's, what it's saying much easier. For me, it's kind of hard to understand like those type of words, so I think it's a really good idea to make an app like that because some people think that just because I'm Israeli it would be easier for me to understand, but really it's kind of hard for me. A rabbi who had grown up in a rural part of Italy, and he had grown up Roman Catholic, and he saw one day um, two men with kippot on their heads walking by, and he thought to himself, I think those are Jewish people, but from what I've read, I thought that the Jewish people were extinct. I've never seen any Jewish people around here before and I've never heard of any living Jewish people. So he went to the library and he started to read up on Jewish history and the Jews and he became so enraptured by it that he taught himself Hebrew. 
but he was teaching himself from all these biblical texts, so it was completely biblical Hebrew. And he wrote a letter to the head rabbi of Israel in biblical Hebrew. And a very long time later, he got a letter back from the head rabbi of Israel, and it came with a modern Hebrew dictionary, and it said, here, people don't speak or write like that anymore. And he taught himself modern Hebrew, and he ended up converting and becoming a conservative rabbi. So. Shalom, I'm Mishrem, and I'm the Tanakh academic advisor for this project, for the Behemoth app. And I have to say that I really think this is a very, very important project. Uh, many students, uh, and particularly Israelis, and they open the Tanakh and hey, hey, they think they know it all. I understand. And then it comes to all the words that are written with Vav HaHipuch, Atid Avar, like Vayitz Aku, and they have no idea what it means. None whatsoever. If you give them a Hebrew-English Tanakh, it doesn't help at all because they don't understand the English either. But a Hebrew to a Hebrew Tanakh, or an app even better that they could use while using technology in the classroom to write answers, to look up Rashi's, that is a wonderful thing. Not only is it for the Israeli student, but for the people who do not speak Hebrew as a first language, the French, the American, the Spanish. It's wonderful because when you see the Tanakh Hebrew translated into the modern Hebrew, perhaps then you'll start to recognize roots, Shorashim, and other parts of speech. And therefore, it will help you both improve your Tanakh understanding and improve your modern Hebrew speaking abilities, or at least understanding or comprehension of reading even modern Hebrew. That's my take. I am not a Native American speaker. I went to yeshiva day school for 12 years, and everything that I could speak, I can speak all simply because we learned Tanakh Hebrew before we learned modern Hebrew. Sounds backwards, topsy-turvy, almost like Purim, but it's not. It's true, and it works. And I am so proud that I am able to help these students make an app beginning with Parashat Kitisa, which they are learning in class. Our today's studies teacher, Mishram, helped us convert to Prakim. We are going to use the two Prakim in our app, and we also conducted two tests based on the Prakim that we translated to see if our app would actually be useful. The first test had the Prakim from the Torah, and the second test were the Prakim that we translated.